Okay, so here we have a let t um, in the real domain and in the, with three coordinates uh, be the trans linear transform linear transformation to um, a two vector kind of coordinate system. So here we have the three and two, so it's indicating that we're converting kind of a three um, component vector to a two component vector in some domain. So here we have to use a linear transformation to solve for t um, to one one negative two and we're given these two transformations to use and we're given five options so um, let's write the question over here so the transformations that we're given are as follows so we have we have to find for this transformation. So we're trying to solve for this. And we're giving two transformations. So 1, 0, negative 1 equals 5, negative 2. And we're also giving 0, 1, negative 1. Let me just double check that. Yep, 0, negative 1, negative 1 equals 1, 2. So to uh, solve for this problem, we have to know uh, one property of a linear transformation. This is as follows. So t, um, if you have some vector u plus some vector v, is equal to the transformation of vector u plus transformation of vector v. So we're going to use this property to solve for this. Okay, so one thing we we can kind of recognize here is uh, looking at one thing at a time. So if you look at the first component, so we have one over here, we have one over here, and then we have a zero over here. So we can see if we did, um, let's call this transformation one, and let's call this transformation two. So if we did the first transformation one plus zero, we would get the one up here. So we get the one up here. If we did, let's say the second component, zero plus one, we would get also the one. And then if we did negative one plus negative one, we would get negative two. So we can kind of see how this transfer this uh, applies here. So if we added kind of these two together, we will be able to solve for the transformation here. Okay, so let's write out the following. So we can pull this down a little bit. And we can say that this transformation, we can kind of split it up into two vectors. So we'll have one, zero, negative one, plus zero, one, one. Sorry, negative one down here. So we can see how this um, is equivalent to this. And this will help us use the two transformations uh, below this one, number one and number two to solve. So we'll use this property to simplify the equation a little further. So we'll keep going over here. So we'll say t to one, zero, and one. plus t, 0, 1, negative 1. So we got these two. So we go back. And we can see we can just kind of sub this in and sub this in to find the solution. So subbing those two values in, I'll just close them off. 
So here we have the first one is 5, negative 2, and then the second one is 1, 2. And we just got them from over here. These were given from the, the, the question. So they're given here in the question, and we just have to solve for this now. So just give me a second, let me just move this over. So solving for this, we would get five plus one would give us six and negative two plus two would give us zero. So this right here is our solution. So from the um, solutions A, B, C, D, E, six and zero is present in B and we know B is the correct answer. So the correct answer is B for linear transformation. So here it, um, the student presents an incomplete solution. So incomplete solution, correct answer selected Need to show work. So here solution is incorrect because there's no steps to finding that the answer is B.